many people would believe me if I said that. I'm Steph Beckett from Rave Pups. And I am Tim Albright from Avian Nation. And in case you guys didn't know, we are partnering in order to make news better for our end users out there who are tech managers, AV enthusiasts, AV gurus as Gary calls them. Mm -hmm. um, they're not the same as our typical integrator audience. So what Tim and I have been trying to do to build better content for those readers and to bring more of them into the AV industry because a lot of them out there, they don't even know that they're part of us. Well, yeah, whether it's an IT manager or an IT director who they're responsible for a conference room, mm -hmm. right? Or they're responsible for collaboration space. Yep. The, what they do and what they use is 100% AV. Yep, and they don't even realize it. Yep. So what we're doing is we're taking you around the Cedia Expo 2024 slash CIX 2024 show floor, and we're showing you a few of those brands out there that are important to you. So if you are an end user, AV enthusiast, IT manager, AV manager at a university, these are brands that you're going to want to pay attention to because not only do they make both commercial and residential, but it's the same product. They're yep. not different lines. So this is going to be very easy for you to get to know because it's the same thing everywhere. Yeah, and that, that's the one thing that's kind of unique. Probably this year or maybe even last year mm -hmm. where several of these brands have made this strategic decision to say, look, we're going to make good quality products. We don't care what you want to put it in somebody's house. Yep. Sure. It's the same thing. You want to put it in a conference room, knock yourself out. Yes, which I have seen more and more as I've been walking around the show floor asking questions. Yeah. I'm like, residential or commercial? And people are like, yes. Yes. So that is what Planar over here told me when I met with uh, Jeremy the other day here. Yeah. I was like, okay, so tell me, what's the difference between the commercial and the residential? He was like, we will put this anywhere. If you are an integrator and you say, I want to put it somewhere, We'll do it. Yeah, and, and, and they're they're doing uh, they're showing not only the the, the indoor uh, direct view LED but also yep. their outdoor direct view LED. Yes. Uh, and then and you know you can put that whether that is digital signage. Yep. It's for an outdoor space, an yep. outdoor uh, event space. You can put it wherever you want. Let's walk around and check that out, actually. Yep. So let's go and look at their outdoor display. They have this in a digital signage set up right here, not to really showcase that, but to showcase how bright, how many nits. They can, of brightness, yeah. nits? nits? Nits. Nits, okay. I get nits and lumens mixed up. It's so, easy. Yeah, it's easy. Light, that's none of my business. But anyway, this is very bright. You can't really, you can barely even see how bright based on the camera that we're using, but this is quite bright. This is for an outdoor digital signage setup, but what they're really trying to showcase is how bright they could go. potentially get this 1.3 millimeter bad boy over here. So when Jeremy was walking me through this, he was like, we did not turn this up all the way because he was like, Steph, this would hurt your eyeballs. Okay. So this is their outdoor, and we're not outdoor right now. We're inside a convention center. So basically the idea is you can put this in your conference room that's entirely windows at the top of your, you know, New York City yep. office that you just get a ton of direct sunlight, sunlight blasting in the room, but you still need a really, really, really bright display to make it happen. You're going to want to use this one. It's technically for outdoor, but you can put this indoors as well. And also, if you are just one of those people, I just really need a big old screen outside in my house. I have a little seating area outside, probably bigger than little since you're using this, but this is going to be what you want to use. And the thing about direct view LED is those are modules, right? Mm -hmm. and, and, and you, you, this is not one solid piece. No. So as opposed to a, a big wall. screen TV, mm -hmm. right, where a big screen TV this size would be several hundred pounds, mm -hmm. it would take three or four people to install. Yep. Here you could do it with two, two people and, you know, a couple of days because it's so modular. Exactly. So while this is not the most end usery in terms of our readers shows yeah. out there this is going to be something that you want to pay attention to if you are an end user or technical yeah. end user um and i do believe jeremy told me this goes up to 3000 oh, wow. nits of brightness that is incredibly bright because most of the other things out here that i've looked at have been one to two yeah 1500 i would say is the average. is the average yeah absolutely so yeah this goes up to 3000 so that's why he did not turn it up all the way, because he didn't want to, you know, blast me and blind me. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Luckily for all of us, I still have my eyes. So, and I'm going to use them because we're going to walk to the next place now. All right, so we're just going to kind of do a drive-by here, <laughs> best Crestron. Yeah. So, Tim, you you are a fan of Crestron. You have made that very clear. Well, and I've used Crestron for for 20 years. Yeah. Right? Uh, I was a really bad programmer, and that's important to note <laughs> because. <laughs> The Crestron Home OS uh, demo they did mm -hmm. here, they did a speed challenge. Okay. How quickly could you 
put together a Crestron home system. As as a non-programmer. Yeah, as a non-programmer. Okay. Again, hey, I'm a bad, I'm a bad programmer. Yeah. I made the leaderboard, and it was relatively simple. Hey, yeah. that's awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. But what, what that really kind of drags into is they're making it simpler and easier for integrators as well as, as um, folks in the IT space mm -hmm. to put together a system that cool. works relatively simple. Yeah. We're passing by Sony here as well. So yep. Sony, you probably know their Bravia line if you're a person who lives on this planet with eyes. Yeah. So what Sony has done as well is their Bravia line extends from not only those professional settings, you can put a Bravia in your house now. Yep. So this is another one of those brands. It's like, hey, everyone likes this so much, we're gonna develop it and you know, you stick, stick it in your house if you want to. And the one interesting thing about what Sony did when they did their press thing yes. was um, they're like, we're gonna shoot the content on a Sony. You're going to watch the playback on a Sony. On a Sony. You're going to produce it on a Sony. On a Sony. Why wouldn't you watch it? Why would you watch it on anything else then but a Sony? Sony. And it's, it, I'm, I'm not saying that I necessarily agree or disagree, but that was a really great point. Mm -hmm. The fact that so many productions that we're consuming today, everything is made on a Sony, so... You might as well Bravia. watch it on a Sony yeah. as well. Yes, might as well. Might as well. Might as well. So these are a few different options you see behind us. In, uh, different sizes. We got a 98 inch, a 75 inch. Different, are they different pitches? Um, it does not say that they are. And I don't, they, they, we don't really talk about that in residential no. anyway. People don't know what pixel pitch is. So these are all, I want to say 4K. So They are all 4K. Uh, they're all LED. Um, so yeah, they're, they're, they're very pretty. And yeah, mini LED over here. Um, so yeah, I've seen a lot more mini and micro LED in residential this year yeah. than in the past, which is interesting. All right, let's get on to OLED. Yeah, I haven't even gotten to see any of the OLED, so this is my very first time OLED getting to see OLED is my show. favorite thing. I know, you got to skip in your step Dude, when we OLED started. is my favorite thing. Do you have one in your house? I do not. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but I'm going to after this show, and I'll yeah. tell you why. Why? Because the price of OLED has dropped incredibly. It used to be really expensive. Really expensive. So for those of you who don't know, an OLED is basically an organically, like an organic compound yeah. instead of liquid crystal. Yeah. Did I say that? that? Organic light emitting diode, yes. Yeah. So it it's more expensive because it's organic matter instead of just putting you know, an LED light bulb yep. in there, or like tiny little mini ones that yep. light the backlight through the screen so you see what's going on. Now, <clears throat> 100 years ago, right, uh, when HD first came out, mm -hmm. there was a plasma display, right? Yes. And, and plasmas were great. They had great color. They had mm -hmm. great contrast. But they didn't last very long. They didn't last very long, and they were stupid heavy. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> yeah, I remember. Stupid I remember when we got heavy. one in our house. Right? My parents you can kill like, somebody. Up the stairs. Yeah. These... Yeah. <laughs> Our, that, that's not even like a that's quarter of an not, inch? Yeah, that's about a quarter of an inch thickness. And the colors are as good. You could argue better than plasma. I, I, it's been so long since I've seen a plasma. I don't remember. Yes. But the colors on this are so amazing. Vibrant, crisp. Yes. Very, very beautiful. Yeah. So it's, it's with any piece of technology. When it first comes about and when it first comes on the scene, it's very, very expensive. Yeah. But as time goes by, we figure out ways to manufacture it for cheaper. Yep. So the prices of OLED, thank God, are finally starting to go down. So it's going to be something that people, regular people, like maybe some of you watching, will be able to put in your homes. You can put in your homes. The other thing about this on the, on the commercial side is um, because the prices are dropping and because you've got all of these displays available, mm -hmm. you can buy one at pretty much any real retailer. Yep. That's also going to lend more R&D money to things like the possibility, because these are flexible, right? Yes. They're thinner, so they're flexible. So you mm -hmm. can have more applications on a, on a college campus, wrapping them around poles, putting them for digital signage, yep. putting them for wayfinding, uh, and the experience is so much better. So much better, so much easier to look at. Yep. So that's just one thing that we wanted to tell you guys about these OLEDs over here. So yeah, big big shout out to LG. Yo. All right, where are we to next? L Acoustics. L Let's go. So yeah, we've showed you a lot of display options, but we haven't talked too much about audio. No. So L Acoustics, you probably know them. If you don't know them by name, you have heard them before because they're used by most of the big performers out there at virtually every concert venue. So that big concert that Adele did in Europe, 
that was telecast all over the world. I think they're over okay. here and down. Um, that was using L acoustic speakers. So their speakers are amazing and they're professionally made. People know them. They're performer used, really, really big in the pro market. But they're here at Cedia Expo showing like, hey, you know us because we made Adele sound so good. Mm -hmm. Imagine what we can do to your home theater. So yes, that, that is what they're known for. They're known for high quality sound. They're known for, for yep. large you know, concerts. Taking that same technology, and you and I went to a demo mm -hmm. where the folks from Alacoustics said, look, it's the same speaker. Wait, I didn't it's know that. I didn't either. It's the exact same speaker and make model, like, like speaker one, two, three, yep. that you put in a commercial setting, you're gonna put in your home. Exactly. So these are all the same things. They're all the same specs. Everything's the same. It's not a separate line. This is the same stuff that you heard that made Adele sound so good. Yeah. And it's now in your home theater. And if you want the sound that will make your hair blow and make your teeth rattle in a home theater, <laughs> did you experience that too? I did. <laughs> I did. That this is going to be what you want. So. These are just a few of the brands who are doing this, but Tim and I, well, sorry, I don't mean to speak for you, but we both feel that this is going to be a bigger part of the AV industry as things continue to converge and we see more resi-mercial products yeah. continue on. Absolutely, and, and there's a couple things. You know, CDA, last year they started the CI Expo, right? Yeah. We're seeing, and the reason for that, it, it, one of the reasons for that is that resi-mercial push where you have products that are being put in both the residential and the commercial areas, mm -hmm. it's good quality product, regardless of where you put it. Regardless of where you put it, and regardless of what your use case is. So quality is going up, prices are probably gonna start going down yeah, on some bit. of these. Um, so it's a good sign for our market, so you should pay attention to these brands. So make sure to check them out. Um, for us, if you wanna see more of our coverage, you can go to raypubs.com forward slash Cedia Expo for the more residential. Raypubs.com forward slash CIX for the more resi commercial like commercial. What about you, Tim? Uh, for us, go by avnation.tv. That's avnation.tv. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. Tim, always a pleasure. You mean? All right. We'll see you guys next time. Really good CIX I don't think many people would believe if I said